on guys so welcome back to the channel and uh today we're still working on the engine um as you guys seen last week so working on getting the bottom end put together and uh now that that's done we got to do the upper portion of the engine but prior to doing that i need a head gasket and uh before i order a head gasket i want to check uh my deck clearance or my piston to cylinder head clearance um so that I know exactly uh, how thick of a head gasket to order. Now, um, I did ask Ramey Racing what they normally run on their engines, and they run a 40 thousandths um, thickness head gasket, which is OEM. And uh, for piston, I'm running their head, and they recommend checking the deck clearance and then having 40 thousandths deck clearance uh, or piston to cylinder head clearance. Um, so kind of taking all of that together and, uh, we're going to measure this and see exactly where we're sitting. And then I'll make a decision from there, how thick we're going to go with the head gasket. Um, I know like the speed factory gaskets that they just came out with, um, for all B series engines, they're all a 40 thousandths gasket. So more than likely it'll probably be OEM thickness. Um, especially being that this is a, a turbo motor and it's not all motor and we're not looking for extremely high compression and we um my piston shouldn't even protrude out of the bore at all um but we'll see what happens so yeah to check the deck height and measure it we need a deck bridge and um if you don't know what a deck bridge you're about to find out um so i ordered this here from four piston racing um so this is a deck bridge and you know it comes with these dial indicators um and this is basically used to measure our deck height here so the first thing i want you to do is to take your deck bridge and then you you want to set it you want to set your deck bridge on your deck itself so the flat portion of the deck not the sleeve not your coolant jacket not where you're Head stud goes, but on your deck. So take our deck bridge and set it on the deck there. So it's good and level. Same, you know, so your dial indicator is just sitting on the deck as well as a deck bridge, and everything is level. The next step after you get that set down would be to zero your dial indicators. Now I already went ahead and had these zeroed um, prior to filming, so this one's off just a just a touch, um, but they're they're basically right at zero. So the next step after you zero those out um, is to move the whole deck bridge assembly here onto the piston, and you you don't want to put it in a valve relief because you're gonna get you know, inaccurate readings. So you want to set it on the piston here. And, you know, perfect world. Like at first I was thinking, well, you know, piston's flat. You should get the same reading on both sides, right? Well, that's wrong. So we have four thousandths on this indicator. And let's see, this is five, 10, about 15 thousandths on our other dial indicator here. Now, if you're wondering why those numbers are different, um, it's because the piston obviously is connected to the connecting rod by a wrist pin. And the piston still has a little bit of play back and forth. So if I were to push down on the piston on this, on this side here, which I'll go ahead and do right now. I don't know if yeah, you probably didn't even see that. We'll try it again, but if you look now, oh wow, that actually changed quite a bit. Well, look here, we're about 10, a little bit further than 15 thousandths, about 16 thousandths on that side, and we're two thousandths over here, 
what we're seeing is that piston rock. Um, I did this earlier and they were both the same, so I'm confused and I'll have to zero these again. Maybe they, maybe it was because the zero wasn't quite on. I readjusted here. So on this side, we're roughly 15 thousandths. On this side, we're about four thousandths. Now I've rocked that piston back and forth um, two, three times now. And uh, there's a little bit of variation, probably depending on how much I push down on the piston, right? So, uh, like I had 15 thou and 4 thou, and then I had 17 thou and 2 thou. No matter which way you look at it, you, we're finding the average of those two numbers, right? So, you know, 17 thousandths and 2 thousandths. Um, 17, we got 19 thousandths, and we div, uh, divide that by 2, and we're roughly right around 10 thousandths um so ten thousandths of an inch is roughly our deck our deck clearance so basically with it being ten thousandths to be at that forty thousandths mark that uh four piston recommends on a steel rod um i would run a thirty thousandths head gasket to make that forty thousandths since i am ten thousandths under um, because the piston is not, or negative ten thousandths, because it's not protruding out of the bore. Uh, I think that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, um, call me an idiot in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I believe that's the way it works. So t if I were to completely go off of what four piston recommends, um, I would run a thirty thousandths uh, head gasket. Now running in 40 thousandths it's just it's a little bit thicker it gives me a little bit more um room between the head the cylinder head and that piston um so running a 40 thousandths uh yeah it'll affect the compression ratio but you know um to be honest a 40 thousandths is probably just fine to run um i'm not gonna have any issues running a 40 thousandths so that's probably what i'll end up doing just being at uh that's you know, the thickness of Speed Factory is selling, and that is the thickness that uh, that OEM is, as well as what Ramey Racing recommended I run, and they're the ones that build this block. So, that's checking deck clearance. Um, probably isn't the best video ever, but, uh, you know, it's fun learning this stuff, and that's kind of why I bought the tooling, is so that I could kind of learn um, how to do this. And, uh, if any of you actually have experience doing this and you have feedback, launch it at me, throw it in the comments. Because uh, obviously I'd like to get better at this kind of stuff too. I mean, to be honest, I haven't actually assembled an engine since my black car. Um, and uh, even then I did minimal work. My buddy, buddy of mine did everything. So uh, yeah, um, I will probably put the link for the deck bridge tool in the description below in case any of you are interested in i don't know trying this stuff out yourself and uh yeah that's pretty much all i got for today so uh like subscribe share the video and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace